Welcome back everyone. With Excel today we are going to learn how to create this search button and clear button here. Now let me show you with this search button how it works. If I type something here like the word wins and click on the word on the search button here. Yes, it so what I'm looking for. Win it it match with the word win the name with the ID with the numbering here. And if I click on the clear button, clear all what I have searched. And if I type something again here and click on the search, yes, it show what I'm looking for here. And if I click here, it clear all. So how to do this? We we don't have the knowledge of the VBA code. We just only create with the macro recording here. Okay. So now let me show you how to do this. I don't want to type all again. Why wasting time? I am going to copy all this table. Copy and open the new workbook. Okay. And paste here. Okay, I'm going to enlarge this table. This table. Okay. Now, what we have to do first, we just Put the cursor on the first column here on the numbering here and go to home go to sort and filter and select filter now you see here we can sort it from the smallest to largest from the largest to smallest here something like this okay so we have to create the search button and clear button uh, here or whatever where you want to place it to do that, just go to insert and go to shape here. I might select this one, okay, and draw here. Something like this. And right click on it, edit text. I might name it search. Okay. Put it in center. And with the fun button here, I might change it to black. And with format. I will fill it with this color with this preset shape here like this something it look a bit uh, a bit beautiful okay just and with the clear button with the clear button just copy and paste and put here and rename this one Yes, rename this to clear. And with the format, I might change to red. With the font color, I might change it to white. Okay, it looks nice right now. So, is it work yet? I might show you something here, whether it works or not. I just I look and hit on search. Oh no, not work yet. Okay or hit enter nothing happened yet so how to do that if we type something here it show the result on the first row here okay so first of all just put your cursor here and then on the keyboard click on control and select from the first row here until the last row and then go to home go to conditional formatting Choose the new rule here, okay, and take the last one. Use a formula to determine which cells to format. And here, format value where is formula is true. In here, you have to type equal, type if, open a bracket, type is blank, is blank, open a bracket again, and Use the cursor to click on here on where we want to type something to search. Click on here, close the bracket, comma, put zero, comma, type the word search, open the bracket again, and put the mouse to click here again, comma, and the la mark with the e column. 
with the e column with number two so we have to tie it e two and close the bracket we have opened the bracket how many times one two and three and we have closed one so we have to close two more bracket here and then go to format go to format to set the color to easy to to show the result okay, okay. I might set to the orange ones and hit OK. Now let me try whether it works or not. I just add look and hit enter. So it show two different and also not correct. Okay, so click on here again and go to conditional format thing. Click on the manage rule. Click on here and edit rule and you see here with the E here, E column here, it something wrong with the system. So clear all this and put the E2 again, E2, okay, here E2 again. Click OK, apply, OK. Now the result so correctly with look or Luca. It match with Luca, okay. And if I clear all this and type wins and hit enter, yes. Vinzy, it might be Vinzy. So now we have to assign the macro for these two buttons with the search and clear. Now just first of all, just click on here and then go to the view, go to macro, click on the record macro here, and macro name, I clear all this and I name it to search. Yes. And I want to work with this workbook only. So take this workbook. Okay. And name here with the name here. I sort it with the color here. So to do to do this, it will show on the first row here. Okay. And then go to view again to the macro and stop recording. And on the search, right click on it and assign macro select on search this workbook only okay and hit ok one more you have to assign the clear button to do that just go back to the view go to macro record macro and i name it to clear okay with this workbook only hit ok and click on here clear all this hit in the and with the name here click on this one sort by color I choose no field and with the numbering I choose from smallest to largest ok and go to view again macro and stop recording right click on the clear button here assign macro select on clear this workbook only ok now let me try whether it works or not. I just type look and click on the search button. Yes, it match with the word Luca. If I clear all this and type wins, search, yeah, it showed the winsy. If I click on clear, yes, it clear all what I search. If I type something again like lin, click on search. Yes, it match with the word Linda. If I click clear, it clear all this. Okay. This is what we have created the search and clear button without the VBA code. We just create with the record macro only. Okay. Thank you guys for watching this video. And if you have any question or have the problem with creating this button, just comment below. I will answer for the next video. Thank you guys, see you next time. If I type something here like the word wins and click on the word on the search button here. Yes, it's so what I'm looking for. Win it it match with the word win Z name with the ID with the numbering here. And if I click on the clear button, clear all what I have searched. And if I type something again here and click on the search. Yes, it's so what I'm looking for here. 
and if I click here it clear all 